Everyone's talking about Google's VO3 and Flow. Well, what's the difference between the two, and what do they actually do? And why is everyone freaking out? Well, one makes the movie, and the other makes you the director. So basically, VO3 is the powerful AI model that generates videos, and Flow is the creative platform where filmmakers use VO3 and other AI tools to craft and refine those videos. But how good is it visually? Can Google's latest AI models truly translate imagination into breathtaking visuals? That's the promise. And today, we're putting that promise to the test by giving it six different visual and audio prompts to see how well it handles both. This isn't a deep dive into every tool. It's a quick experiment to see what it's really capable of. Each designed to test different aspects of VO3's visual understanding and generation capabilities. We're looking for detail, complexity, and how well it interprets abstract or imaginative concepts. Now that Google VO3 can add sound, stick around to the end as we're gonna try out some sound effects and even throw in a bit of dialogue to see how it all comes together. Let's get started. Our first prompt is a hyper-realistic close-up of a single dewdrop clinging to the intricate veins of a vibrant emerald green leaf in a misty rainforest, reflecting a miniature version of the surrounding jungle canopy with perfect clarity. Let's see how VO3 handles this detailed natural scene. We're looking for the realism of the dewdrop, the detail in the leaf veins, the atmosphere of the mist, and most importantly, the clarity and accuracy of the reflection. So the dewdrop looks incredibly realistic. Uh, while it's hard to tell the exact scale of the image, the detail in the leaf is impressive, and the reflection is pretty much spot on. If anything, it could use a bit more mist for the atmosphere, but overall it looks great. Next up, something a bit more fantastical. A steampunk robot barista meticulously crafting a latte with gears spinning and steam hissing in a Victorian era airship soaring through a nebula filled with glowing cosmic jellyfish. This one throws in several complex elements. A specific art style, steampunk. Intricate mechanical details. A character performing an action. A historical setting combined with a sci-fi environment and unusual creatures. Overall, this video looks good. Uh, we really like the mechanics in the shoulder and the elbow. However, we notice that the gears on the other arm aren't spinning. Having them in motion would have added a nice touch. But this gear turning is also cool. As well as the steam coming out of the latte machine and the jellyfish in the background also look really good. Our third test focuses on abstract and surreal visuals. A constantly morphing Escher-like staircase made of melting clocks with liquid gold flowing upwards against gravity all within a dreamlike purple and orange landscape. This prompt is designed to push the boundaries of logic and visual possibility. We're looking at how well VO3 can interpret impossible geometry, abstract concepts like melting clocks, and the overall surreal atmosphere. So for this creation, uh, the staircase is present and looks fine. And while it's great that the clocks are actually functioning, they don't really appear to be melting. Additionally, the liquid should be defying gravity, which it currently isn't. These are just some of the issues that we have with this video. If you like our content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell when we drop a new video. For the next prompt, we will be going a bit more realistic and requires nuanced human interaction and subtle emotion. Here is prompt number four. A young woman sitting at a sun-drenched cafe table, engrossed in a book, occasionally taking a sip from her coffee. A gentle smile plays on her lips as she reads, and people interact in the background as others pass by the window. This tests VO3's ability to create realistic human expressions, consistent actions, reading, sipping, and a natural, unobtrusive background. We're looking for convincing facial micro-expressions and fluid movements. Overall, this video looks great. We really like her facial expressions, the page turning, and the sipping motion. And even the reflection in the window is done well. However, you've probably noticed that she already has a cup of coffee, and then out of nowhere, a second cup suddenly appears and disappears, which breaks the continuity. As well, there's something going on with the person's hand in the background. Our next realistic prompt takes us to an urban setting, 
testing character consistency and a common task. A businessman dressed in a sharp suit quickly walking down a busy city sidewalk during rush hour, checking his wristwatch. Taxis and pedestrians pass by in the background, and sunlight glints off nearby skyscrapers. For this prompt, we're going to add some sound. To do that, we enter the text and select the VO3 Quality Beta Audio option. This will let the tool generate background sounds based on the prompt. So the background sounds are great. It really feels like a real city. And even the footsteps seem to sync with his walk. Visually, everything also looks good. Uh, but the ending feels a bit off when he brings his arm back. It looks a little bit unnatural. And finally, let's create one last prompt, this time with some dialogue. ChatGPT generated both the prompt and the dialogue, so let's check it out. A two-shot medium angle of a woman named Ava, early 30s, with wavy brown hair, wearing a cozy knit sweater, sitting at a sunlit cafe table. Across from her, a man named Leo, late 20s, with short dark hair and a thoughtful expression, wearing a denim jacket. They are in a bustling bright cafe with soft chatter and the gentle clinking of cups. Ava gestures subtly with her hand as she speaks. Leo listens intently, occasionally nodding. Ava, I truly believe this new approach could revolutionize our workflow. Leo, that's a bold claim, Ava. What's the core difference? I truly believe this new approach could revolutionize our workflow. That's a bold claim, Ava. What's the core difference? Visually, this looks really great. We really like the lighting in the cafe, and the sound overall is very solid. But while her lip syncing matches the dialogue well, his seems to be slightly off. Let's give this one more listen. I truly believe this new approach could revolutionize our workflow. That's a bold claim, Ava. What's the core difference? So there you have it, our initial visual exploration of Google's VO3 through the Flow workflow. We've seen it tackle everything from hyperrealism to surreal fantasy. What do you think of the results? Let me know in the comments below which prompts video impressed you the most. Now this was mainly a visual test with some audio. We plan to do a more in-depth audio and dialogue test in the future, but let us know your thoughts in the comments and thanks again for watching.